It looks so good. So it's mine and Brittany's first day alone without the rest of our Kalani Ohana. <laughs> but we had an awesome night last night. Um, a friend of a friend actually let us stay at his apartment for free, which was really nice of him. Thanks, Carter. And then this morning we decided we wanted um, pastries. <laughs> and we stumbled upon this place. <laughs> so we're really excited. We're going to have some pastries and some coffee. And then we're going to meet another friend at um, a ranch where we're going to do an ATV tour all afternoon. All right, so me and Brittany are on public transportation here in Oahu. <laughs> We made it onto the front. We did it. <laughs> we did it, guys. All right. Two hours later, <laughs> we just got off the bus and we made it to Kualoa Ranch. This is insane. This is insane. They have filmed, like, tons of movies here, one of which is Jurassic Park. And we are going to ATV up in the mountains. Okay, so we have, like, 15 minutes before our tour starts. And there's a little petting zoo. Hi. How's your nose taste? <laughs> oh my god, that one's in the tree! Whoa! <laughs> How did you get up there? Oh my god, that is Hi. the cutest thing. How are you going to get down? I'm like nervous he's going to fall off there. Oh! 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, so we're about to check in right now and get on our ATV tour. Our tour guide over there is actually a mutual friend of a friend that I grew up with. So he's hooking us up, he's getting on this tour. We're ready, awesome. we're excited. We're ready. Hey, this up? is our friend Steven, he's gonna be our tour guide today. Hell yeah. Uh, question for you, uh, do you know what movies were filmed using the bunkers? Uh, using the bunkers, Pearl Harbor in the movie was used and also in the TV show Lost. Oh, okay. The Tempest scene from Lost and then this area we're staying in is Hurley's golf course from the TV show. Oh my god! Right there. Oh. That's so cool. Uh, Godzilla was stomping around over there. Those are his footprints. Oh. Uh, Jurassic Park oh, scenes are... over there. We, I mean, they, they've done so many movies. That new movie, Catching Fire. As we continue on the ride, I'm going to go over a phrase. Or you guys will start to realize what I'm talking about. There's a phrase out there called Malama Aina. <laughs> care for the land, to give back to the community. I'm sure you girls learned about mm -hmm. that. <laughs> Um, and this place, you know, like, you know, where you guys went, really represents the grassroots of Hawaii. Alright, so come on over here, guys, real quick. I want to show you something pretty cool. We call this sleeping grass. You touch oh, it, it yeah. and it just kind of <gasps> folds in. What? It's really, really cool. Really, it makes me feel like I got superpowers. It's like those land They're all over. Like, That's crazy. Oh, I love Kalani, too. Oh, I love really? Yeah, I've so never cool. seen this before. Yeah. Wow. And it's really, obviously, it's done to protect itself, you know, think about it, if we get cold, what do we do? Put on more clothes, or we get really tight, you know what I mean? So same thing with all the weather that's going on here. Uh, it's always raining and everything, that's probably how it protects itself. How long does it take for them to go back? Uh, you know, people have told me different things, like 10, 15 minutes. How is it? It's delicious. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Fresh guava. <laughs> okay, so it's supposed to taste like a mushroom? Yeah, just the flower part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's it. That, like, clean, earthy taste to it, right? Yeah, it takes a while, but... Did you eat one? Or did you lick it? Oh. I thought I was supposed to eat it. Eat it. it. You are supposed to eat it. Okay. How was it? I still only taste guava. <laughs> oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, now, does everybody know uh, where what passion fruit was named after? Uh -uh. Okay, so it came from a South American country, and for religious reasons, so it grows on a thorn, thorny vine, and just falls off. That's why we just saw it on the path. But the thorny vine, they relate it to the the wreath that Jesus Christ wears. And, and then they call it passion for, for passion of Christ. Mm. Fun fact. Yeah. Now this one, you do not eat the skin like guava. Uh, this has, you know, kind of like a tarty, sour taste to it, but I think it's absolutely delicious. Thank you. 
Thanks, Steve. Cheers. Okay. Ready? Brent, you're looking hot on that ATV. I have to tell you. in Atlantis. <laughs> we found it! It's about 10 o'clock and we're at the beach right now because Carter and his friend decided that they wanted to come um, body surfing at night. These waves are huge. You cannot pay me to go in there right now. It's so dark. I'm terrified there's going to be a shark or something. Gosh, look at them. Crazy boys. Crazy. Everyone, this is Carter. How are you? Say hi. Hey. What is Carter? <laughs> Carter is crazy and swimming in this right now. It's really fun, getting some really nice barrel, it's getting really pitted, <laughs> really good. But he's also crazy and letting two strangers stay in his house. Yeah, yeah, and they are wonderful strangers. Oh, you're so Best nice. Thing to say about <laughs> Carter is good friends with my old roommate, Amara, and she introduced us, thank goodness, because we didn't have a place to stay last night. <laughs> 